when I view the falls and when I uh, step my foot on the boat that goes up to see the falls at a greater perspective, to feel the, the strength and to hear the voices of my ancestors there is truly overwhelming. Knowing that our families um, from time immemorial essentially used those areas and fished and lived here and, and gathered the salmon and the, and the steelhead through the dip netting and then the other net methods of netting. It's, it's just cool to see that we're able to do that again and uh, it's very, very special to me. I myself was very fortunate to be on one of the fishing parties uh, that went out and got Scockwell, got eels, for the first time in many, many years as part of a, a Grand Ronde fishing party. And that was one of the most exciting, rewarding, amazing cultural experiences. It was just the experience of a lifetime. In 1954, my mom was a part of the Relocation Act. And um, the experience that she had with that I can just imagine that the similarity for our ancestors and for us today to be able to reconnect back to the Willamette Falls, it feels like you belong. And I think that's carried from our ancestors. It was so exciting when our little preschoolers, we call them the Lilus, the little wolves, and the day that they brought in a poster, they cut out their little faces and showed them standing on the platform fishing for salmon. It brings it all full circle. They're gonna be the ones who, 20 years, 30, 40, 50, whatever it takes, the time it takes, that will be the ones that will say, yeah, I remember when. That was my picture and I'm doing that today. And my kids and my grandkids are doing that too.